Hi guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to create additional fields or additional columns in your pivot table that is supposed to be the result of a certain calculation. Or maybe you could also think of it as how do you write or insert formulas within a pivot table. Now, if you have been doing formulas in pivot table using this method wherein, for example, I want to get this amount and then multiply it by, let's say, 0 0.02 to get sort of like 2%, then you're actually doing it wrong because pivot tables are dynamic. They can change depending on the fields that you will drag. That cell will simply reflect wrong data once you change your pivot table into a different orientation so we don't want that okay to be our solution to this kind of problem so instead we want to create a dynamic field or a calculated field in pivot table so for example i want to get the two percent of the amount and instead of creating a cell here or a formula with a cell here on the right side of the pivot table what you are supposed to do is click on any one cell within the pivot table range and go to Analyze tab. Take note that the Analyze tab will not show up if your cursor is outside of the pivot table. See how the pivot table disappeared here, the pivot table tab. So make sure you click on any cell within the pivot table range and that's the time that this contextual tab will show up. In this contextual tab, you need to find this button over here, the one that says Fields, Items, and Sets. Under Fields, Items, and Sets, you should be able to see Calculated Field. And this is what we are looking for, a field that is a result of a calculation. So click that and you will get this pop-up asking you for the name of this new field that you want. So let's say that I want this to be the commission. So I will type the name of this new field. And then I will start preparing the formula. So whenever you're going to use calculated field, you're not supposed to use cell addresses, but rather you're going to use fields here. I strongly recommend that you click on the field name and insert that field rather than typing the name of the field. Though it's okay to do that, but you may make the mistake whenever you type or sometimes there's this bug that I've encountered before that even if I type the name of the field correctly, this formula bar doesn't recognize it. But it did recognize if I click on the field name. So maybe the field name has a space or something that you do not see. So better to just click here to create your formula. So for example, I want to get the amount and then click insert field that should send the amount in the formula bar then just like in regular formula you have to multiply so you have to use asterisk and then let's say 0 0.02 to connote two percent and that's it click ok and your pivot table will now generate a new column that contains the amount that you're looking for Take note that this also generates a field. In your pivot table fields pane, something that you can always uncheck if you want to make it disappear or check to bring it back. Take note as well that the amount column is actually not required to be displayed. So if you're interested to show only the commission and not the amount, you can simply uncheck the amount from your pivot table fields pane and your calculated field will still be okay. Now, let's have another calculation here. We just want to show you that you can also formulate using two fields, two existing fields in our pivot table report. So, let's say that I want to create the net amount or the amount less the taxes. So, I will again click any one cell within your pivot table range, go to Analyze, and then under Analyze, again, Fields Item Sets, Calculated Field and create the field name so let's say the field name is net amount so using two words is fine 
and then the formula which has a zero we will remove that just keep the equal sign and then we're going to click amount insert field and then less the tax insert field and then you could even use another calculated field if you want to and then click OK and now we have the net amount which is the result of our calculation just in case you made a mistake let's say you realize that for the commission you're supposed to multiply it to 0 0.05 all you have to do is click on any one cell again within your pivot table and go back to the calculated field pop-up once you're there instead of creating a new field like what we're doing or what we have been doing we will not create a new field but rather use the drop down here to show all the existing calculated fields we have in this pivot table so i want to modify the commission field so i will click that and this pop-up will also show you the formula you can now change it let's say i want to change it from 0 0.02 to 0 0.05 and then click modify and then finally click OK and that's the time that your pivot table will reflect the new calculation for that field now there's a little drawback whenever you create calculated fields remember when we said amount times 0 0.05 there's actually an implied calculation here what you have been doing actually is an implied sum of amount multiplied by 0 0.05. So calculated fields will always use the sum okay, of the field. So for example, in the second calculation that we have, what we did was the amount minus the tax minus the net amount. Now, this is what we see, but what pivot table does is actually the sum of amount minus the sum of tax minus the sum of net amount. And this is something that you actually cannot change. It's always the sum. Even if, for example, I will change the amount into an average, so I could right click on the amount field or column and then choose this option that says summarize values by and change it to average for example notice how the commission and the net amount will not change so summarize values by oops, average so the average amount now changed but notice how the commission and the net amount did not change so it, it doesn't matter if your field is summarized differently compared to sum but Calculated fields will always use the sum, and there's no workaround to do something about it. Well, you can by modifying the data. You can add more fields or more columns to your data source, but it's not really a direct solution within the pivot table itself. So I just want you, I just want to warn you on that, because if your calculation is like this, then or not like this, then you may be displaying a wrong answer. So now. That's for this video. I hope you learned something new and I hope you managed to find the answer to your question. I hope you also click the like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel. For now, that's it and I'll see you in the next video.